Good morning. Just wanted to do a video about the progress I'm having with using this 12 volt battery, the Bouge RV charge controller, and this 12 volt DC to 120 volt AC pure sine wave output inverter, and the uh, EG4 12,000 BTU direct solar input hybrid mini split. I've been running this thing 24 hours a day. During the day, 100 watts or uh, 12 100 watt solar panels runs this mini split. I can get around almost 900 uh, watts to power this on turbo at 61 degrees, the lowest setting. And it does a good job keeping my garage in the 70s. And then while that's running off the solar during the day, I have this charge controller. And yesterday I had, uh, for a couple of days, I had two 250 watt poly panels. They were kind of filthy. <laughs> I, I didn't clean them before I hooked them up. They were on top of the pergola. And I was using those and it actually topped it off the first day before I used it, it worked great. And then yesterday I noticed something that on the charge controller, like it said 13.2 volts, and when I went to the percentage of state of charge, it shows 100%. But when I actually look on the Watt Cycle app for my battery right here, it's actually showing it's a 3.3 volts charging at 26 amps, and it's only at 23%. So, this battery, the, the charge controller said it was charged at 100%, but it was actually at 13.2, 13.1. And as soon as I connected it and started running that mini split off of that, it dropped down like 12.8, 12.9. So, this is not giving me an accurate uh, state of charge on the battery um maybe it's because it's a 280 amp hour that um it's throwing off and nowhere in the settings for that can i change the amount of amp hours so it must be considering it's a 100 amp hour battery maybe that's where the mistake is now it's continuing to keep charging this even though it's been saying 100 percent since it's been 13.1 volts and now it's 13.4 and i know the other day it got up to 14.4 volts while it was charging and then after it reached 100 percent um in the battery bms it actually was 100 percent on the battery bms right now it's at 24 percent so can't really go off of that trusting that for your state of charge, you're probably going to need to have a battery with a uh, app, Bluetooth app or Wi-Fi app that'll show you like this, the, the percentage of state of charge. Now, when this thing is fully charged and I can get the 35, 84 watt hours, it'll definitely run that mini split overnight. I ran it from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and it was 108 degrees out the other day it's still 108 degrees at 6 p.m. And I ran it from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And it was 78 degrees in my garage all night long. So it did a great job. And all I did was use the solar panels during the day and then this battery at night. Now, like I said before, those 12 100-watt solar panels are connected straight to the condenser unit on the outside unit of the EG4 hybrid mini split as where I have two 290 watt mono panels used ones connected to the Bouge RV charge controller. So we have two separate solar arrays and the two 290 watts are just connected to this just to charge this battery. That's all they do. As where the 12 100 watt solar panels actually run the uh, mini split. Now, on this, you can see that we're at 13.3 volts, bringing in 26 amps, 300 and almost 347 watts. 
And if we go over on the mini split, the mini split is set at 61 degrees. It's set on turbo, set on cold. And we are using 639 watts off of the uh, solar panels and 280 watts are actually coming would it be like grid but this is plugged in right here this is a cord coming from the condenser unit of that eg4 mini split from outside and it's connected to my off-grid solar uh, so you could connect consider that you know the grid input so it's actually using it's having to draw in almost 300 watts right now so we're at uh 919 watts is what we're actually using to power this thing on full and it is right around 79 degrees in the garage now it, it didn't run last night because i thought it was charged at 100 percent because i was looking at that and i never charged i never looked at the app over here for that now the other thing I have is, see if I can get this um, connected here. There we go. Okay, so on this, it's showing that I'm at 333 watts coming in from the solar. We're at 13.4%. Our voltage coming in off of our solar panels are 55.9 volt DC volts. But we have it set up at 14.5. Um, that was the highest voltage it went. And then 12.9 was the low voltage. And, you know, some of these things. But the... Uh, oops, going there. And you can change these advanced settings right here. Uh, you can change the... Um, boost charge voltage, over, char over discharge recovery voltage, over discharge voltage, um, light control delay time, and light control voltage. So I believe, yeah, you can go in here and charge, change these settings in here. And then when you're done, just hit this up here and it'll go from unlocked up there right here to confirm that. And now it's locked. Then you can go back to the main screen. Now, see, this on here is showing me that I'm at, see if I can zoom in on that, 13.4 volts, but it's not giving me a, a state of charge. It's just saying it's 13.4 volts but it's not saying what the percentage is. So I really don't like that. Um, I need my cheaters here. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's not showing, it can't do anything to, right now it's, it's showing that it's fully charged. See that little thing on the top there? It's just topping it off. It's it's showing us fully charged, but it's actually not. So we're going to have to keep charging this. And if we go into the other app here, the Watt Cycle app, it's showing at the current state of charge, charging time to fully charge is 13.8 hours at 353.5 watts at 26.6 amps. Because remember, this is like three... 100 amp hour batteries is what this is almost equivalent to so it's going to take longer at 330 um 353 watts at 10 hours that would give you 3535 watts so and we're at 24 percent right now so it's saying it would be 13 hours now it's 10 o'clock so 
hopefully by the time noon hits we should get up higher to close to 500 watts oops we should get closer to um, 500 watts coming in which would reduce this down to where we should get fully charged and right now that 26 amps I got another one that only does like 15 amp on a plug-in 115 volt charger so probably need to get a, a larger charger that can charge up at a higher amperage so I wouldn't have to wait 13.8 hours so you know, I just wanted to share that with you that I uh, can't really rely right now until I can see if I can change some parameters or something in there. I cannot rely on the accuracy of that charge controller um, to tell me my battery is completely topped off at 100%. Because that's what I'm going to need in order to run this mini split through the night. Because it will use anywhere from uh, 250 to four or 500 watts per hour and that'll you know if it's at 200 watts 240 watts that'll take four hours to get a thousand watts and you get that'd be 12 hours you know you can go 6 p.m to 6 a.m and your battery's pretty much drained the other thing that i tried doing last night which i think was kind of drained a little bit quicker was this thermostat or this uh remote is the thermostat for this and you can't actually see the temperature on this remote there we go can't actually see the temperature you, you can see what I'm uh, maybe it is maybe that is uh, no I don't think it is uh, uh, nope that was it I think it's saying it's it's uh, Cool, turbo. So maybe that was showing me the 78 degrees was maybe the temperature. So right now I have it set at 71 or 61 degrees and it's on turbo. And what I did yesterday was I set it up on like a a box like up here so what it might have been doing was it might have been sensing it's at temperature turning it dropping it down to like three watts is what it'll go down to and then when it start back up again it might be going up to like five six hundred watts because i actually didn't have it on grid limiter so it might have even been going up to like seven eight hundred so by keeping it closer like that um it could have been making it cycle way up on the watts so the night before i had it hanging up way across the room over here so i'm not going to put it over there now some my cheaper ones like this one and my other mini splits i have in the house that are cheaper ones they're like four to six hundred bucks those you can trick it into it and it'll reduce it down um but this was making it sense so much that the temperature was so much lower it just shut off the compressor instead of slowing it down so that might have helped contribute to it draining quick but we'll see we'll test it again tonight and we should be able to get this up to we're at 351 watts 26.6 amps and i'm kind of curious to see how many um watts i can get out of this and how many amps out of two solar panels for this i have another one of these i ordered it should be here in about three to five days and i'm going to put these in uh, series to go 24 volts because this is 12 24 36 or 48 volts and i'm going to try it with putting these in series to get 24 volts then i can go 1200 watts in solar because I, I can use four of those solar panels which is going to charge this twice as quick at this pace right here i'm at 26.7 amps that's almost 27 i could be charging at 54 amps that would charge it up quite a bit at, at 280 amp hours at um 28 amps it'd take you 10 hours to charge this if it was fully discharged but at 54 amps 
you could charge that up. Um, two hours is 108 amps. Four hours is 216 amps. Five hours, you could charge that thing up. If it was completely dr drained down to 10.5 um, volts on that. So we'll see. Should be able to get this thing charged up fully and then be able to run it on this battery again and start doing the testing again. So some good information there. Um, you know, you find this stuff out when you actually go to do it. So um, I want to say that Fang Pusin was very close to the accurate of the thing, but this has a lit. This has a lithium, not a lithium iron phosphate, and it really doesn't give you the ability to put in 280 amp hours. So, like I said, if it was probably a uh, 112 volt 100 amp hour, and I'll have to try that. I've got some EG4. 12 volt 100 amp hours over there i'll have to try that and those are bluetooth as well um i'll have to try that and be willing to bet you that the reason why it's showing 100 percent is because it thinks this is a 100 amp hour battery that's why it's showing 100 percent so pretty much it please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions on any of these, um, the battery or charge controller or inverter or mini split, don't hesitate to ask. I'll try to help you out. Uh, I'll put a coupon code in there for the watt cycle. If you put DIY Solar Guy, you'll get 6% off on the coupon code. And it, I'll put this stuff in there too that I buy on my off-grid system. And there's a coupon code in there, and that's $50 off of any purchase of $500 or more from Signature Solar if you use that coupon. There's no coupon for that and no coupon for this. So I just bought this off of um, Amazon, and I bought this off of Amazon. So you can pretty much buy a lot of different uh, pure sine wave inverters that are 12 volt, 1200 watt to 120 volt AC. And there's a ton of charge controllers on there so i'm just starting to um, test this bouge rv and i'm not going to give a recommendation yet for either this or that but this battery i've tested like about six times six different ways and it works great so does the mini split and so does all this other stuff i highly recommend all that stuff but can't recommend these yet i'm still testing them have a blessed day see you in the next video